I'm Alex Shipley and this is another video of Shipley Mods. So today we're going to be going over the Bimmer Code app, which is just an app that allows you to hook into all the interfaces on your BMW or Mini or your Rolls Royce, similar vehicles like that, and actually unlock and code certain features that are normally hidden or deactivated for certain models of the vehicles. Uh, now this vehicle that I have is a, is a 2015 BMW 535i M Sport. So a lot of this already came with some features like M Sport features and functionalities. Uh, this is good if you were to do like some retrofits for a, if you had just like a regular uh, 528 model or something like that and you retrofitted like an M Sport steering wheel, you can go into the app, code in the M, uh, the M Sport steering wheel functions and then now you have a full M Sport function. As well as some other things or uh, if you have like a, an M Sport and you want some more of the, uh, the M features, on there that come with the actual M series BMWs or stuff like that you can do or just minor uh, comfort creatures stuff like that and that's good so today we're actually going to be using the uh, the V Peak OBD adapter uh, it's the one I got a couple years ago worked on my uh, F30 the 2015 fight that I had uh, it works on this model as well the uh, the F10 uh, series uh, works for several of them uh, you can also use your your Thor adapter or a couple other ones you just open up the app and I'll show you the available uh, OBD2 uh, ports or uh, dongles that you can use the adapters. Uh, so I'm just going to use this one because that's what I have for right now. And so as you guys can see, a couple things off. Uh, start with the vehicle off. You want to have your seatbelt uh, plugged in. So a lot of these features on here, they're safety features. So uh, if you don't have your seat buckle uh, hooked in, uh, it's not going to allow you to, to change functions and all that. Another thing you want to do is that uh, when you change something, only change one thing at a time hit the code button, it'll reset that system, that ECU on there and code the information. Uh, and then you can go ahead and do more. If you do more than one at a time, sometimes it gets a little uh, confused and uh, you, you might have some errors with that, uh, but it should be fine. I, I've done it before, I haven't really had any issues. It's just what I've been reading through the forms. So first things you wanna do is you wanna turn the vehicle on just in accessory mode. So that means don't put your foot on the brake, just hit the start button once and it'll turn it on uh, just like that. So as you guys can see, I already have the OBD plugged into the port. That's going to be on the bottom left right here, right uh, right next to your uh, your brake pedal. So we'll go through this app, and I'll, I'll try to do a screen recording on this just so you guys can see it better. Um, so let's see. So you, you go to your uh, your Bimmer code. Also, I have the full version. I went ahead and, and bought this previously. Uh, it just allows you to do more functions on there. Uh, but the demo version, you can do a decent amount on there as well. Open up your Bimmer code app right there. You're gonna hit connect. And it's gonna uh, connect and it's gonna search for the adapter. You don't have to already connect with the Bluetooth and everything like that. You do have to have your Bluetooth on. So this shows you the different BMWs that you can, or different models that you can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick my model, which is gonna be the BMW 5 Series, the F10. And click OK. And now it's gonna connect, it's checking the, the terminal status. So what this is is that it's reading all the, uh, the ECUs uh, inside the, the actual vehicle. There's several of them. It's not just one. So now we're done. So this is going to show you all the uh, the ECUs that you can actually go in there and, and change. So you got the uh, advanced crash safety module. Uh, the main thing for that one is that I actually changed on there is the, the seatbelt reminder. So when you go to uh, turn on your car and you don't have your seatbelt plugged in and it says flashing, it's like, hey, no seatbelt and gives you that little chime. You can actually disable that. So it's uh, just either a um, so it's just like a little flashing icon, so it's not like the actual sound buzzer going off, or it's just uh, nothing at all, just because you, you don't want to deal with that. Uh, you got your air conditioning, which you're going to need very well in Arizona. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm, I'm sweating pretty bad. It's because I'm in my driveway right now, and I'm in Arizona, and it's uh, really hot, especially in the car. Uh, one of the things you got to make sure when you're doing this is that you actually want to uh, have all your accessories turned off. You don't want your AC running and your radio and all that stuff, just because that one, it could drain the battery. And two, when you're messing code and stuff like that, you want all that accessory stuff off just because uh, you don't want it to confuse the ECU and, and mess, stuff, uh, mess stuff up. All right, so you can change a couple of other, other things. Uh, your car access system, that's your auto start stop function, your door, windows, uh, mirrors, your transmission. Uh, you can change uh, some of the function on there. So we can look at the, the transmission real quick just because I know some people are going to be curious about that. So you go in here, and this one's like your sport active transmission. Uh, so you can basically 
Uh, if you have like one of those lower models where you don't have that sport mode activated on there or it allows you to switch between it, you can actually activate that sport mode. Like I said, mine's already an M Sport, so it already has that. All right, so some of the other things. Uh, one of the things I did that was uh, pretty nice was if you go to the instrument cluster uh, panel, I believe it's in this one. Uh, basically, when you start up the car, uh, it has like a little display section on the main menu of your vehicle. Uh, I coded that in there to actually have the uh, the M performance or the uh, the M series uh, startup uh, on there instead of just like the the M performance or like the generic BMW one. All right, we're at one hundred percent. Okay, so as you can see, uh, your digital speed in uh, inboard computer not active. So that's like some options that you can do for your instrument cluster. Uh, you can do your, your fuel reserve warning, so you can actually change when you get uh, your low fuel warning. Whether uh, so, right now I have mine set at 30 miles, and then the other one is at 50 miles. So you can actually change that to like kilometers or change the actual miles on there. So you can set it so it's like 10 miles, 20, 30. So it's just different preset uh, functions on there. Uh, your your heads up display I actually have that on mine. Uh, you can change what all is uh, is allowed to be shown on your your heads up display. All right, uh, let's see, your, uh, your PDC, your, your rear view camera, so your parking, parking distance control, I believe it's called. Uh, so that, that's uh, where you set up the features. For, so like on my previous one, uh, I wanted to be able to turn on that parking uh, rear view camera uh, when I'm going pretty fast, just because uh, I wanted to see like the cars behind me while I'm driving for people who are trying to like tailgate me and get on close. So you can actually change uh, the, the speed which it switches off. So right now this one's set at uh, 20 kilometers, but you can change it all the way up to 50 kilometers an hour, uh, which is where it'll, it'll turn off. Uh, same thing with uh, the actual distance threshold and stuff like that for like where you, the not just the speed, but the distance you, you start driving before it shuts off. So this one's set at 250 meters, so you can go a decent amount of time with it. Uh, the seatbelt module, uh, and uh, for passenger and driver, or sorry, uh, seat module. So this is where you'd go and you can change like your uh, your heated seats. So all the different uh, heating settings for it. You can make it so it doesn't make it so hot or you can make it even hotter uh, for the different uh, levels of heating. Uh, your steering column control unit. This is where you would actually go and control your uh, your paddles for uh, like your M Sport and stuff like that. So like if you were to turn, uh, do like a retrofit and get some uh, the paddle shifters installed, then you can, uh, Activate your uh, your steering with uh, the paddles, which mine's already active, and then the, the steering heating. So, like if I had a steering wheel that had like the heated steering wheel, uh, you can activate that as well. So, a whole bunch of uh, things that you can do on there uh, just allows you to just make it a little bit more custom, a little bit more features that you like. Uh, one of the other things I like to do is uh, right here. You can do your your headlights. Okay, so this is the head unit. Uh, as you can see, it says up at the top shows HU underscore NBT. So the head unit that I have is the NBT. Uh, so a couple of different things you can change on here. So you can change the checkbox acoustical lock uh, confirmation. So basically like when you're going through your, your navigation, your menu, and you want to check something, um, it'll go through there and it'll actually make it look a little chime when you select something. Uh, you can also change the, the chime ringtone to a couple different things. So like the BMW i series, just regular BMW mini or even Rolls Royce. Uh, you change your, your volume startup. So like if you had a blast in the night prior and you get up in the morning, you get up in the morning, uh, it's not going to be blasting right in your ears again. It's, it's going to be at 25%. You can actually go in there and change whatever level you want it to be at. Uh, I have right here the checkbox daytime running lights, so my, my running lights are always on. Uh, just a, a little thing nice to have. So I went in here before and changed the startup animation, which is on your uh, your screen right here. When you turn the car on, uh, it'll do like a little animation. You can change it to whatever you want on here. I go finishing coding. Restarting the ECU. Now that you actually change something, you can see that the code up at the top right is actually able to get clicked on so you're gonna it's gonna give you a little warning make sure you read that if it's doing the first time then, uh prepared to code and then it's gonna start writing all that code and there we go and that's the rolls royce and that's the startup so that's how you can change the little different startup menu on yours and now you're back there so i'll go ahead and change it back afterwards to the m sport 
super easy to do. And that's the startup. So that's how you can change the little different startup menu on yours. And now you're back there. So I'll go ahead and change it back afterwards to the M Sport. Super easy to do. Uh, you Okay, so if you scroll down here, uh, you get into your, your doors and windows. So horn signal when locking a car while engine is running is active. So if you lock your vehicle and your engine's still on, it's going to honk. It's going to let you know. Uh, also, here's your, your mirror. So you can uh, activate this where your mirrors automatically fold and unfold when you lock the vehicle. Uh, that's a nice feature. This is one of the ones that I like to do as well. Okay, so you can go around here, you can change, go into your, your AC system, your air conditioning, change some certain functionals on here. So uh, you can do your, your air conditioning setting memory, so it automatically remembers or doesn't remember uh, air conditioning on and auto mode, stuff like that. Just different uh, settings on there. Uh, let's do uh, footwell module lighting. So you can actually go in here and, and change some of your, your lighting functions on when like your your running lights on your inside the vehicle turn on like if you open up the door those lights come on or if they don't all right guys so that was my video on how to code the bmw uh it's just basically an overview of how to use the app uh different functions you can do what all you could actually do with it uh sorry i had to keep it a little bit short as you can tell i'm in uh beautiful southern arizona where it is super hot right now and being in the vehicle with it turned off no ac uh, i was sweating really crazy so camera kept overheating as well so that was kind of annoying so uh if you guys want to um leave a comment let me know if you guys want another video a little bit more in depth on the actual functions i had to change it and everything like that uh don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button uh hit that little bell notification that way when i post a video you guys will actually be notified you can actually uh watch that as soon as it comes out so uh more videos coming up so just let me know i'll uh, i'll keep posting Thank you guys. I'm going. Bye.